Hello, this is Dr. Do again. This video is still on alphabetic list of problems on letter I. Um, today I'm going to talk about the internal uh, bleeding associated with either uh, digestive system from stomach to the intestine and esophagus, uh, etc. and also some other uh, inter uh, internal bleeding in the subtle spaces. I just put everything together. What are the signs to look for? What are the emergency situation? Uh, what are the uh, the situation that you can manage at home? Pretty much, probably if you know it, you cannot manage at home. Has to be uh, uh, managed by the physician. So this is uh, uh, the internal bleeding. Um, any uh, associated emergency situation with this, I think. Uh, you probably can imagine, or you probably know it without I say it, pretty much it is emergency, especially if the blood is a huge amount, bright and uh, or dark, um, or associated with uh, um, a neurological deficit, or associated with uh, other symptoms like uh, pain or, um, uh, or nausea, vomiting, or pale, or alter the mental status, etc. So any kind of signs indicating severe, large amount of bleeding, that's the sign of emergency. Um, pretty much, I think, regardless, uh, if you find or if you suspect that you might have something uh, going on or associated with this internal bleeding, either from digestive system or uh, urinary system or neurological system, you, uh, so any of those, then uh, even though not a warrant emergency, still call your physician to discuss, to address your concerns, address your uh, suspicious uh, something going on, uh, especially for those with the comorbidities, with another uh, systemic diseases. So uh, let's talk about the, uh, the digestive system, internal bleeding, either from the esophagus. The risk for, of the esophagus uh, or stomach uh, the upper um, digestive system bleeding is uh, inflammation, um, um, ulcer, and uh, another associated is esophagus varicosis associated with hepatic disease, chronic uh, uh, elevated uh, portal um, pressure, uh, and also associated with cirrhosis. So these are the, the cluster of the upper digestive system. The bleeding, the presentation could be vomited blood, huge amount, uh, or could be bright, or could be um, uh, out of the color of the stool. If the stool uh, become uh, black, so that also indicating the upper digestive system bleeding from the stomach uh, during the process, chemical process, the blood change color to the tar or really black, uh, so that indicating the internal bleeding from upper digestive system. Whether symptomatic or without any symptoms, if you see this kind of, uh, if there, uh, this kind of situation occurred, definitely call the physician or go to the emergency room. And the small intestine, small intestine, if there is a uh, blood, usually from diarrhea infections, those um, bacterial infections or cause diarrhea associated with the bloody diarrhea. So that's the one of the most common cause. Could be severe, could be not uh, very severe. If that's the case, uh, probably you can manage at home. Some of the bacteria, uh, bacteria cause the um, a bloody diarrhea can recover by itself. But majority, you still need to talk to your physician to make sure the the causative bacteria was not severe or not need uh, with, with or without antibiotics management so you have to clear it by your physician. The other cause of this small intestine bleeding is the, the ulcerative disease or the Crohn's disease. They affect the large intestine but sometimes can actually uh, quite often affect uh, the small intestine so that uh, associated with abdominal pain also the the uh, blood uh, diarrhea, bloody diarrhea. So this is a group of s small intestine associated with bleedings. The large intestine also, um, the bleeding, usually subtle, uh, 
probably the one of the most common cause of the the colon cancer because this is a, this is a kind of dangerous because the the blood is not quite uh, obvious like the other like the upper digestive system or the bloody diarrhea this colon cancer causes the internal bleeding usually it's subtle unless you do the uh, fecal cord blood test uh, if if the tumor is big enough or the position of location of the tumor next to the uh, blood vessel or cause the uh, serious damage ulceration on the tumor that can have uh, the large bleeding like a, a bright or changed color of the stool but usually at the beginning it's very subtle so the the purpose or the best way to identify this colon cancer is the regular uh, follow the guideline from your physician or your specialist whether you have or do not have the family risk. Either do the fecal blood test regularly or the colonoscopy every five, every 10 years or signoscopy for five years re, uh, for the general population. But if you have family risk, probably the, the time period is shortened. Uh, depends on the, the risk factors. So these are the, uh, the digestive system of the internal bleeding. What are the signs, what are the symptoms or the causes? The subtle space uh, in intra uh, cavities of bleeding, like the, the, I think the most serious, most dangerous is the, the brain. Uh, after the trauma, probably not, uh, uh, not symptomatic, but there is some subtle hematoma. Usually if the hematoma is big enough, we will associate with neurological deficit. Um, even though some of the location may probably not, but still feel a headache or a neuro with or without neurological deficit. But regardless, if you have the trauma on the brain, on the head, I think that's also uh, definitely need to be checked out by the physician. Even though it's not emergency, without loss of uh, uh, consciousness, but still it's good to clear that there's nothing going on, or nothing serious going on in the brain. In the uh, intra-abdominal cavity, usually there's no, uh, probably minor, and if it's not big enough, uh, probably will absorb by itself, or just uh, caused by the uh, mild damage. But usually if the hematoma is big enough, that means internal organ, either the liver or the spleen, the, the most common one caused the intra-abdominal hematoma, that really, um, sometimes can uh, have the sign, early sign of the shock, uh, elevated uh, uh, heart rate or um, feel, uh, uh, feel drowsy, feel thirsty after the trauma. So that's definitely need to be cleared and uh, to scan to make sure there's no internal bleeding. So these are the, uh, the, uh, the common um, etiology or the clinical presentation of the internal bleeding. I just uh, categorize into the cavities, the tract, and also the space, and this associated with, I uh, just mentioned, the solid organ, um, spleen and the liver are the most, uh, um, most common um, uh, in, uh, cause internal bleeding from the trauma. So this is the, the video of this uh, internal bleeding or intestine bleeding. It's very um, fundamental, um, uh, very uh, not deep. But regardless, the taking home message is if you have trauma, if you have family history, or if you have any kind of bleeding from upper digestive system or lower, uh, just get it checked. Uh, either go to emergency or call your physician. Uh, I, I'm going to stop here and I hope it helps and thank you for watching. I will see you next time.